everyone. So today I'm going to show you how to create a mail merge from Google Sheets directly to Gmail. So today we're going to use a Google recommended script uh, created by a developer. So I did not create this script, but I'm just going to show you how to use it. The version I have is the updated version. This version includes a schedule send, so you can schedule a mail merge. First thing you're going to do is you're going to change the time setting. So if you want to schedule send, you have to make sure you change the time setting. So how are you going to do that is you're going to go to File. You're going to go to Spreadsheet Settings. The original setting is in London time, so you would need to change it to whatever time zone you're in. Okay, then I'm going to save the settings. So one thing to note about this setting is that when you open this file, one thing you should not change is the column where it says recipient. Do not change that column and don't change the email sent column. For some reason, if you change that any of those columns, um, your script might not work. I don't know why, but just don't change it. You're free to change the other columns, but just not those two columns. Um, so note that this is case sensitive as well. So if you want to change this to capital, Go ahead and do that. That's what I'm going to do. Well, once I have this set up, I can also create my draft email. So I'm going to go to my Gmail account and I'm going to compose a draft email. And then you're going to use the brackets. Again, this is case sensitive. So if I have first capital F and capital N in first name. Um, I'm going to make sure they're both capitalized as well. I'm also going to add an attachment column. I'm just going to insert right. When you insert an attachment, if it's a Google Doc or a Google site, make sure the share settings are what you want them to be. So for example, if you want them to be allowed to edit, you can include the edit link. But if you only want view only link, make sure you adjust your settings properly. So once I have my draft composed, I'm going to copy the uh, subject. Once I have my sheet set up and I have my draft complete, I can uh, test my mail merge. So if I want to send it right away and don't need to schedule the send, I can just go and click mail merge and click send emails. Okay, so when I do that, it's going to ask me to authorize the script. So the way scripts work is it, is it needs access to your email and and it needs to be authorized with any script, whether you wrote the script yourself or whether you got the script from someone else, it always needs authorization. So you just click on continue and then click on the email. This notice will pop up. It's standard protocol for this to happen. So you just click on advanced and then you click on the your sheet. Give it access. If you have a second recipient uh, that you want to send the email to, for example, you want to have it CC'd or someone CC'd to the email, you just go to Tools and you click on the Script Editor. And this will take you to the view of the script. So this is the script by Martin Hoxie. If you want to make sure it is a second recipient, you have to go to the function that sends the email. So I'm going to go find the function that sends the email. And here it is. So this says send emails from sheet data. Uh, and then you're going to find where it's asking you about the details. So here it is where it says CC. 
slashes, you have to delete the slashes so to make the command live. And since I named that row recipient two, I'm going to change. I can also choose to change the name of the send. But I have nothing else to change, so I'm just going to keep it that way. And now I'm going to select my function from I can either go to here and select my function to send emails, or I can go to the main uh, sheet and click on mail merge and also click on send email. So I'm going to choose to do the mail merge and click send emails. So I made a copy of the subject line of my draft and I'm just going to paste it into this box. Okay, then I'm going to click OK. So once it's sent, it will indicate that the email is sent. So I'm going to check to see if I received that email. Here it is. So here's my email that it's sent. So you can see, hello, Jane Doe. I can open the email. And here's an attachment. I can open the attachment. And so I know that it works. So what if you want to schedule send? So if you want to schedule send, oh, so this script will only send emails when this line is blank. Okay, so to schedule send, all you do is go to Tools, go to Script Editor. From there, you are going to change the date of when you want it sent. The date is reliable, the time is not so reliable. So it will send it on the correct date, but it might send it the next morning. So the time is not always reliable. If you're going to schedule send, you're going to change your subject line as well. Again, it's the same subject line as my draft. And then once you think you have that all done, you can go and select a function. You can also save it. You can select a function, and you're going to click on Set Up Schedule Send. Once you click on Set Up Schedule Send, then you can click on Run, and now it's go going to schedule the send. If you decide that you no longer want to wait for it to get sent, and you want to send it right away, then you can just choose Send, send Scheduled Email, and then it will send it right away. Okay, and that's it. And that's how you do a mail merge from Google Sheets to Gmail.